What's up YouTube? My name is Danielle Philly and this is the first episode of The Diva Diaries. I am a 27 year old WBFF pro diva. I am a newly wed. I am a little wifey. I am a fur mama of two. I am crazy about health and fitness and I want this to be all about um, my journey with health and fitness and competing and just my healthy lifestyle to hopefully inspire some of you out there, give you guys more information about health and fitness, and kind of just give you the ins and outs of my life, what my daily routine looks like, what my competition prep looks like, what my good days, what my bad days look like. I just want this to be 100% raw, real, my life journey to share with you. Hopefully inspire you and maybe help you decide if you wanna compete and maybe if you wanna start a healthy lifestyle of your own. So. Let's get started with a little bit about me and my backstory with health and fitness. Growing up, I was a dancer and I played soccer as well, so I was always a really active kid, but I have to say that I was more of like a curvy kid. You know, I wasn't one of those girls who was a stick figure and that's all I wanted. I wanted so desperately to be really tiny and small. I thought that was what was beautiful and desirable. Um, so I kind of grew up always wanting that just to be the skinny girl my body is just not built that way <laughs> I have hips I have a butt I have boobs it's just I was not a stick figure um, but that's what I always wanted so from very early on I developed an unhealthy relationship with food and exercise I didn't know it at the time um, all I knew is that I wanted to be skinny so at a very early age in middle school when I was 12 or 13 I started taking diet pills and like I said I was a dancer and a soccer player so I was very very active but I had no idea what it meant to eat healthy and what losing weight actually meant to do with a healthy way I was like oh, I'll just take this diet pill and it'll just burn up all my carbs that's what we hope it would do but it doesn't do that duh um, I would take the pill and then I would go eat Chinese food and I was like why aren't I skinny well that's why <laughs> because those don't work. I was looking for a quick fix and I was young, I was naive, I didn't know what I was doing. And I was just putting my body in harm's way by taking diet pills. But I did for a long time. And when I went off to college, I was not taking diet pills at that time. Um, I was actually in a dance club, um, a hip hop dance team. And so I was still exercising. I developed an unhealthy relationship with the gym. I would go to the gym for hours a day and I would track my calories and I was like, okay, if I can burn 500 calories on the Stairmaster and 300 calories on the elliptical and 200 calories on the treadmill, that's a thousand calories. That means I can have like five beers tonight and maybe a piece of pizza and not feel bad about it. And that's not how it works either. So I was desperately just trying to do cardio, 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 just burn calories and just eat whatever the heck I wanted and drink and as you can imagine, that didn't work either. I was just constantly on this, this journey and this, um, this path to be fit and healthy, and I just didn't know how to get there. I didn't know how to attain the life and the body that I wanted, and it was super frustrating. I was like, I'm working out all the time, and what I thought was eating healthy, like, you know, it wasn't too, too bad. I'm like, why aren't I seeing results? I was so frustrated, and then after college, I decided to take time off of school and I actually joined a gym back at home in Boston, that's where I'm from, and I started working there. And one of the fitness directors was like, you should teach or get certified in this class and you should teach it. And I was like, yeah, that'd be really fun. Like, I love to dance and I was an assistant dance teacher. I like to teach classes and this could be good for me, right? I mean, I can burn calories while I'm working, win-win. So. I did, I got certified in step aerobics, which I absolutely loved. Teaching was like the best part of my week, every week. And um, then I moved. I moved to be with my now husband, back to Pennsylvania, um, back to Penn State, where I actually went to college. And when I got here, I didn't know anybody but him. I was at a job that I hated. I had nobody but him. I just, that was without my family. I didn't know anybody. I was, I felt so alone that I didn't know what to do as far as like, I just fell into this black hole of eating crappy and I wasn't working out and I was always sad and we were fighting a lot and it was just not a healthy situation. And it all started with me, right? I needed 
to feel better about myself so I could give the best to my relationship and the rest of my life. So I started doing beach party programs, which were like T25 and Insanity. Um, I did Brazil Butt Lift. I did a bunch of them and I love beach body programs. I'm actually a beach body coach because I love the program so much. And I was so terrified to go to a gym because I didn't know anybody here. I was like, I don't wanna go to the gym. Everyone's gonna think I'm weird. I'm not gonna know what those machines are. And I just like, I don't wanna go. I don't wanna be alone. And so I did at home workouts because it worked for me and I loved it and it gave me results. So I stuck with that for years. So fast forward a couple of years, um, I did the program Insanity Max 30 with Sean T. He's like, he's the best. It was the hardest program that I've ever done. It was only 30 minutes a day, but it was two months long. And I was like, I was gung ho about finishing this program and attaining like the best body and healthiest body that I've ever had. And I did that. And during that time, I had started following on social media a lot of bikini competitors and I was seeing this all over the place you know like girls on Pinterest that were super fit with the six packs and with the guns and I was like that is that's awesome they look so healthy and like sexy with their curves and the bikini competitors they look so confident and happy with themselves and I was like I want that right that was like one of my goals and one of my dreams was to be a fit model to be the girl on stage that inspires other people. I wanted to do that. I wanted to inspire other people and I wanted to compete. I wanted to make that dream a reality, but I was so scared. I was like, that could never be me. Ah, competing is scary. Ah. But after I completed Insanity, I was like, that was the hardest thing I've ever done. I need to go after something else. I need to face more of my fears, step out of my comfort zone and go after my dreams. So, I did. I reached out to my coaches and I asked them to take me on and to prep me for a show in Boston and they did. Side note guys, just so you know, I was freaking terrified, like beyond scared to do this. I had no idea what it was gonna entail. I didn't know what to, where to start. I didn't know how it was gonna be. I was mortified, I was so scared, but I had to do it because if I didn't do it, I knew I would have regretted it way down the road. I would have looked back and been like, I missed that opportunity. Why didn't I do that? And you just have to go for the things you want in life while you have the chance. You're not guaranteed tomorrow and you have to go after the things that you want now. That's what life is all about, just living, right? Not just existing in this little bubble where you're like, oh, I'm gonna stay here where it's nice and cozy and safe. No, you have to go after the things that you want if you want anything different and awesome out of life. Anyways, I had a five and a half month long prep. WBFF Boston, June 2016 comes around and I step on stage in the bikini short division and I actually was awarded first place and my pro card on my first show. I was, and I still am, <laughs> like beyond thrilled with my journey, what I did. I never even imagined that something like that could have happened to me, but it did. And the only reason that it did was because I started. I just said, screw what anyone thinks. Screw the little voice in my head that's like, you can't do it. I'm gonna do it. Whether I fail, whether I succeed, I can at least say I did it. It's cross it off the bucket list. It's an experience, right? So that was completely surreal to have achieved that and from there when when I was on stage I was like in heaven I loved every second of it and I soaked it all up and like I told you I was a dancer my whole life so I love being on stage I love performing and giving like my soul to the audience like you can see my passion on stage and that's what I love about this. People can look at you and say like, yeah, you have a great body, but when you go out there and you actually perform and strut your stuff, you're giving people a piece into your heart and into your soul because you're letting them in to what you've worked so hard for. I loved it. It was like an instant addiction. I had to do it again. Immediately after that show, I decided I wanted to go back into prep to do 
another competition which is coming up. I have 53 days until WBFF Atlantic City where I'm gonna make my pro debut. So, and I'm actually going from bikini this time into fitness. And I'll go over the differences of that in another video. But just a little bit about that. I have to gain a little bit more muscle. There's more definition in fitness. Um, we also have a theme wear around. It's like the Victoria's Secret of fitness. If you think about like the wings and the glamour, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm super psyched about it. But yeah, I, I want you guys to know that I didn't always have a really good relationship with food and with health and fitness. You know, there were times in high school and college and even after college where I would binge eat, you know? Like, you're like, oh, I'm gonna have a cheat day. And, you just start eating and you eat some more and then you're like, oh my God, I ate that entire tub of ice cream. Oh my God, I ate that entire bag of chips. It's like, it's debilitating. You feel like a victim, like you're addicted and you can't stop. I was a binge eater and I struggled with that for a long time. I wasn't like, I was always this healthy, healthy girl. I wasn't, I had to learn how to feed my body the things that worked for me, the things that didn't work for me. It was trial and error. It has been a journey and that's what health and fitness is. It is a journey. The only thing that matters is that you're gonna start and decide to go after your dreams, right? And yes, it's scary. It's scary as all freaking hell. I was horrified and mortified when I started. I was like, what do you mean I have to eat fish? Or like, what do you mean I have to eat asparagus five times a day? No, I don't really have to do that. But you know what I mean, you don't know what to expect. Anything that's outside of your little comfort bubble is weird and new and you're afraid and that's normal, but it's also the thing that's so exciting about it. You have to embrace the change and embrace the challenge because this is your life. You have to live your life. I am so about following your dreams and living your dreams. That's like, that's kind of my motto is live your dreams, love your life. Because if you don't go after what you want, you're gonna look back and regret it. That's the scariest thing ever is to be like, think about when you're like 75, 80 years old and you're looking back and you're like, well, can't step on stage in a bikini now, right? Like you have to go after what you want while you have the chance. There's no perfect time to start. You just have to do it. What I hope this video diary of mine can do for you is that it'll fill you in on what it's like to be in prep and maybe you'll go into it knowing a little bit more than I did and be like, okay, that's not so bad or, oh, I can expect this. And I wanna teach you guys some things that I've learned. You know, I'm not an expert. I don't have a ton of certifications. I'm not a personal trainer, but I've done my research. I study all of the time on health and fitness and I've learned things that I wanna pay forward and share to you, for you guys because I think it's important for people to know and so that they can live a healthy lifestyle, right? I'm not gonna keep this to myself. I wanna share it with you. I'll be sharing things like my grocery list, um, my food prep, I'll do exercises, I'll do things that I love and things that I hate. Um, you'll learn about how I travel when I'm on prep, what I do on my days off, what my favorite cheat meals are. You're gonna learn the ins and outs of me and my life as a competitor, as just a normal girl on a healthy lifestyle once that's over and I just really hope that it gives some insight and inspiration to anyone who needs it out there because no matter who you are, I'm telling you from a girl who went from diet pills to binge eating to over exercising and to being so unhappy in her body for so freaking long, you can do this. You can turn that cycle around and you can make a healthy and happy life for yourself. And if competing is something that you wanna do, you're gonna learn all about that here. And if it's for you, if it's something that you really wanna go after, and I hope that it is because there is nothing that's brought me greater joy and like more excitement in my life than this journey of competing. I just wanna take you guys along on this crazy journey of mine. I don't really know what's coming up next. I have big dreams and goals, and I wanna share that with people and the journey and the struggles, everything. I just want to be completely transparent. There are days that you're probably gonna see me cry and there's days where you're probably gonna see me half asleep. I want to show the good and the bad, the pretty and the ugly, just everything. I want you to know the ins and outs of my life. 
I'm so excited to start sharing more of my journey with you guys, give you some um, nutrition information and tips and tricks on how I stay on track, what my days look like, just everything from A to Z. So I hope you guys stay tuned. Hit subscribe below to get more videos of me as I make them. Um, we already have a food prep and shopping video that's coming out in a few days. I'm super excited about that. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.